2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the second stop of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today's coverage of the BMW Championship is about to begin. But hello, I'm Luke Elvey, alongside 2002 PGA Championship winner Rich Beam, who's in the booth. And it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hey, Luke and Rich. I'm looking forward to treading the fairways again with these two because they were absolute fire the first time round. And I have a feeling that after their exchanges on social media, it'll be even more spicy out here. Well, I'm certainly looking forward to following along with this rivalry. Can't wait to see what sort of excitement these two will generate. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. And what's in front of them there, Henny? Setting up from about 130 yards out. Launch that one into space. Wow. Going with the pitching wedge here. They're going with a bit more club here. Let's see if it was the right call. Now that looked pretty good the whole way. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Well, that's a bit disappointing. Right on four feet. Should make this one. Oh, nice looking putt. Well, that's a no fuss par. They get the round underway, Rich. That's a rock solid par right there. He finds himself in a share of 10th place. And Rich, the second hole in play for the championship is a little different than the route in the members' face. It's the 13th on the card. Take us through it. It is. It's a very strong par three, just over 210 yards. But this green is very deep, so it wouldn't surprise me to see this hole playing somewhere over the 225-yard mark. It's very narrow, very long, and very difficult. What's in front of them, Henny? Setting up this putt 21 feet from the cup. Little birdie look in here. It was on a good line. And that should secure the par on this one. And now to Bubba Watson. He's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's clutch. What a way to save your par. Oh, this one out of a smelly spot on the golf course, but no bother for this player. Now we head to the first of the par fives in operation hole, Rich. Big hitters will be able to take advantage and drive it over those bunkers down the right-hand side, leaving a very straightforward and basic second shot back up the hill. Not really what they were hoping for there. Well, I know that we're in the booth and not right up close to it, but it doesn't take a smart person to work out. That's not a nice lie. No, oh, it's a little wayward, bouncing through the branches. And here we are with the third shot. Downwind on this shot. <laughs> Looks to have opted for the eight iron.
Oh, terrific approach and a chance for birdie here at the third. This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. It's tracking. That's a great play and a great time because they've not only moved up the leaderboard, they've now moved one shot in front of their rival. Well, good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. Reached the fourth hole, a relatively short par four. At 400 yards, yes, Luke. Big hitters once again can take the fairway bunkers out of play. Second shot again will be uphill to a ginormous green. Well played, mate. Sitting at one under. Tied for fifth. Now, Bubba's got nothing but respect for an approach shot like that. He really flushed that one. That's half a chance of being hold, this one. Look the old hammer hands putt. Putting for par. That was a top-level approach shot, but unfortunately, they walk off the green with a par. Couldn't convert after two good shots. Their disappointment as they're so close to the lead. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. Oh, that one's absolutely stiff. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Rich, we head to the fifth on the property and we really need to position our tee shots here, don't we? We do. This is a very interesting, cool hole, Luke. This is kind of like a fairway and then second shot green and not much else out there that you really want any part of. Miss the fairway bunker down the left-hand side. Don't hit it in there because you're going to make at least five, if not worse. A bit disappointing, that one. Still a chance to attack this hole from the first cut. Nice out the rough here. Oh, stop it. What a shot. Well, this would be a good putt to make to move into the top five. Just didn't drop. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. Ouch, that hurts. And this one will be for bogey. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Rich, the sixth hole's a par four measuring under 400 yards, but there's still plenty of focus needed here. There, it's just a straightaway hole, Luke. A lot of players can go ahead and take a long iron and just wedge it on from there. I still think, though, the big hitters are going to give it a run and just take out the driver and whip it on up there. And he how's that ball lying? Looks like they have a bad lie here in the first cut. One just missed the hole. Great ball striking. It's a thing of beauty. A spot in the top ten awaits if they can make this putt. It's looking solid. That's the way to bounce back. Good way to make up for the bogey at the last. And with it, he moves to one under par. Now let's change gears and head over to Bubba Watson. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. So after that effort, this is the current standings on the course. 
the leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Opting for the six iron. Uh, this wind really starting to get up. That was well managed. Well, this would be a bonus. This is a very long putt. Looking really good, this one. Oh, the long-range bomb. Is there anything better in the game? Before this putt was hit, they looked their playing partner in the eye and gave a signal. That was mean, but fair. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies. And a spot in the top five also with that great shot. John Rahm holds a familiar spot of top spot on this leaderboard. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Ah, great shot. Second shot here on the eighth. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. That's well played. Pin high. And a fantastic look upcoming. This putt to move into a share of second place. And that's their fourth booty of the day. And with that, he'll move to three under par. Looking at the scoreboard, they currently sit in second place behind John Rahm. The finishing hole on the outward half, the ninth, another good par four. It is, Luke. The fairway pinches in significantly where those bunkers come into play, both right and left. Second shot, slightly uphill to once again one of the largest greens on the golf course. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Sitting up here from about 155. Opting for the 9-iron. Hope it gets a good kick to the left. That was a little bit of a misfire, I'd say. Yeah, Wynn took that one offline in a hurry. Setting up to play the shot here from the greenside rough. Well, you like the look of those hands. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Well, this would be a great power putt if you can make this. And now to Bubba Watson. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Oh, just missed. Let's take a look at the current standings. And just with nine holes remaining, Rich, what do you think here is going to happen for this player? Well, Luke, it's been fun watching this player duke it out with their rival, that's for sure. They're winning the rivalry thus far. Should be fun to see where these two end up at the end of the event. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. And he's down there. Yeah, I think he's got around 135. Chosen the pitching wedge here. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. 
full of confidence as well with their putter. Got to like their chances. That's a lovely putt to make for Booty. Takes some pride in that one. And that will take him to four under. Now let's change gears and head over to Bubba Watson. Yeah, he just made bogey on that last one. This has eyes for the hole. Oh, that's a fantastic attempt, especially from that distance. But it didn't quite drop. Teeing off here at the 11th. Uh, that's a little untidy. Henny, what does that lie look like? This is what bad luck looks like. Just off the fairway, but sitting really down. Going with the seven. Yeah, this is lovely. What a shot from that nasty light. Should be proud of that. Always nice to have a birdie putt. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And well hold. Let's move on. And now four under for the tournament. Some strong hold on the inward half of this uh, golf course, Rich, but there's no one longer than the 12th, the par five. There is not. It is absolute bombs away off the tee shot for these players. If they can get it up and over a small rise, the ball will chase down and give them a thought. A thought, will they try and reach this 630-yard par five with the water in front? No thanks, I'm laying up, and I never say that. Getting ready to play their third. He shares top spot. Going with the pitching wedge here. Nicely done. And now to Bubba Watson. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Let's get back to it, shall we? And this putt will take them to five under par. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Oh, that's frustrating. And that should secure the par on this one. And finds himself in a share of the lead. Now it's time to take a look at this 13th hole. Now let's change gears and head over to Bubba Watson. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Opting for the three wood. Let's return to live play now. This would be a great up and down. Ooh, 
that almost went down. And this is a 20-footer. Okay, steady now. This one for Bogey. Just two shots back after that hole. Trying to shake off the bogey on the last hole as they step onto this tee. Good shot there, Beamer. Time for the second shot at the 14th. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. That was a gallant attempt. No, that's too bad. Just six feet between here and the hole. This one's looking good. Oh, that had eyes for it. Lovely shot. And with that, he'll move to four under par. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. The 15th for the tournament is the 17th on the golf course, Rich. A long par three. It is just over 220 yards to a heart-shaped green, but I can promise you, Luke, there is nothing lovely about this hole. It is strong. There's water left that you want no part of. You bail it to the right. You're in the bunkers. I'm going to take three and move on to the next. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Terrific shot into the 15th and a chance for birdie. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot. And there it goes from the sand. And back to the play, shall we? And this putt to move into a tie for first place. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Moving right along. And they're currently tied for first in the standings with Lydia Ko. Decisions to be made off the tee here, Rich, at the 16th hole. At just under 400 yards, Luke, I just don't see most players taking out driver and giving it a go. Just hit an iron short left of that fairway bunker, wedge it on, make your birdie. Oh, well played. The perfect wind swing. Nice and easy. And that's eight birdies today. And that will move him to six under par. Still in the lead now after that hole. Couple of strong finishing holes to finish up here, Rich. First, let's take a look at the 17th. Yeah, it's just about 420 yards, and you want to favor down the left-hand side as this fairway does move left to right. You avoid those fairway bunkers. The second shot, you have to be precise with your distance control because this green has got a lot of movement on it, a lot of little bowls to it. And now to Bubba Watson. Birdied their last hole. Lining up now, this shot from the fairway bunker.
Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Okay, let's get back to it, shall we? Second shot here on the 17th hole. A wonderful shot here at the 17th and a chance for birdie. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? The perfect leave. Uphill can be firm. Rolling end to end is looking nice. A par putt on the table. Currently six under for the event. And the finishing hole at the south course of Wilmington's famous country club. Uh, reach a really good par four. Just over 440 yards. The bunker down the right-hand side off the tee is only reachable for the big hitters. Second shot slightly back up the hill to a two-tiered green. Distance control is imperative. Oh, that was pure. Henny, what's the player facing here? Wind starting to get up, but it's helping, which is nice. Ooh, just skin the hole, that one. A chance for a birdie if this goes down. And that'll be all she wrote today. Well played. OK, Rich, just a round of play now. An exciting finish we've got coming up. Same look, enjoy the day. Looking forward to tomorrow. On behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hard-working folks at 2K Sports, thanks for tuning in and see you next time. Sports and the PGA Tour proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the BMW Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam and Rich as this next goal for starts the day. What are you thinking about their chances? Should be a lot of nerves. They got the lead. They've been sleeping on it overnight. That is never an easy thing to do. Almost an uncomfortable situation at times, but they are playing well, so they have that confidence going into the final round. But this is going to be a tough afternoon ahead. Can't wait to see what unfolds. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Three feet to go here to the hole. Tee's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. That is definitely a confidence builder. And after that fine display, they are holding first spot on the leaderboard with Lydia Ko trailing in second place. This one is right down the pipe. And how about that for confidence? Going right at the pin here in the midst of their rivalry with Bubba Watson. Love seeing that sort of play. A good stroke. Beautiful shot. Gotta like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. 
John, do you have any info down there? Hey guys, we are checking in with Bubba Watson as he gets set for his next shot here on the 14th. Oh, so close. And how did that shot impact the score? Let's have a look at the leaderboard. This hole is a short par five. Big hitters will be able to take advantage and drive it over to those bunkers down the right-hand side, leaving a very straightforward and basic second shot back up the hill. Second shot here on the third. This one looks to be slightly offline here. Oh, well done. Putting for Eagle here. Right by the hole. Well, that's an early statement right there. Oh, that settles the nerves right there. Great stuff. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Yeah, a quality shot from him. He'll be pleased. So, after that effort, this is what the leaderboard looks like. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves. A chance to keep it rolling. Oh, absolutely flushed. And taking aim from around 100 yards here. Currently leading by a three. Going for less club here. That was special. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. This is their look at birdie. Nice one. Fourth birdie of the day. That sets a positive tone for the player, doesn't it? Now, five shots up after that hole. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. Handy effort, that one. Lining up here after a bunch of birdies, Rich. It's a good start to the day. Let's hope they can keep up the good form. This looks to be heading to the green. Oh, wonderful shot. And a chance for birdie at the fifth. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Just didn't drop. That'll sting a bit. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. Setting the tone early in this round. He's currently sitting in first place. Time to tee off at the sixth. Yeah, 
yep, that'll work. That's fine. This is looking pretty good in the air. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Fairways and greens. Easy game, isn't it? It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. Yeah, you like the look of that right off the blade. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Now on the tee, fresh off a of birdie. A great opportunity to build on that momentum. Looks to be going with the six iron. A wonderful shot here at the seventh and sets up another birdie chance. Looks good. Oh, he's on fire today, building upon his lead, hole after hole. Our man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? Guys, we are checking in with John Rahm as he gets set for his next shot here on the ninth. That was a top effort, that one. So close to going down. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Our current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Well, this one's right at the pin. Oh, that one just missed the hole. This one's for birdie. Nice line. Why don't we catch up with what Lydia goes up to? Trying to get it to seven under par with this putt. Oh, get in. That's inside the range. And that will move her to seven under. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Our leader is currently enjoying an eight-shot advantage. Here we have a long par four. It's going to take two great shots to get on. It is, Luke. The fairway pinches in quite narrowly up there with the bunkers come into play. Second shot, maybe slightly back uphill to a green that is absolutely colossal. That dog will hunt. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? He's looking at perhaps 175, I'd say. And choosing the eight iron here. That a boy. Good shot. And he's down there. You got a read? They've just got to focus on hitting the back of the cup, guys. This is up the hill. Bit of extra juice needed. Ouch. That hurts. Just three feet to the cup. And down it goes. It's a lofty position this player has held all tournament, but what a buffer they've built with just nine to play. Could be some trying times indeed. Tough holes lay ahead, but yes, you're in the position that you want to be ahead of the pack. 
Not a bad line, this one. And Henny, what's he looking at here? This is looking around 115 yards out. Clubbing up, smart. Got to control it, though. Let's see. That's a good-looking shot there. Let's check in with Lydia Ko from earlier. Our player currently in second, making a really great shot. Don't know about you, Beamer, but I would have loved to have hit a shot of that calibre. OK, let's get back to the action. Putting for birdie here. Oh, that was such a good stroke. It was on a good line. Just a tiny putt is all that remains. And as we take a look at the leaderboard, this player is in top spot, and Justin Rose is second. Next up is a par four. Always a stern test. Quality shot, that one. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? Hey, guys, we are checking in with John Rahm as he gets set for his next shot here on the 13th. Well, what a lovely putt to make. And that will take him to three under. Henny, what have they got in front of them here? Got to make sure to repay a pitch mark here. It's going to leave one. It's downhill. Might even get some spin here. This one looks to be heading towards the green. Outstanding approach shot. Just put right on 10 feet. A good one to make. This is what they have left for birdie here. This one's tracking. There it is. Leading by nine strokes after that one. Golf is a game of confidence, and I like it, taking the big dog off the tee. That's nicely done. Second shot here on the 12th. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? And here we are with the third shot. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. And he's safely on the green. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? This one's 13 feet from the cup. This for a birdie birdie run. Ooh. Our work here is done. Let's head to the next hole. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard.
Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Going with the 9-iron, I think. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Trying to get to 17 under the card with this putt. Ah, that's frustrating. And this one is for his par. OK, let's head to the next. He sits in first position. We have a par five on this one. Yeah. Pretty good shot there. Second shot here on the 14th hole. Going with a three wood here. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using the big muscles to get it home in two there. Moments ago, a beautiful shot happened on the course. Let's take a look at it. Here's a great shot from our player currently in second. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? Just got to use the touch of a feather. Barely has to blow on it. This is just downhill. Okay, steady now. Mm, good chance, this one. Right on six feet. Yep, tracking nicely. And that will drop in for a birdie. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Going with the five wood. That's a great shot here at the 15th. It sets up a look for birdie. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Wow, back-to-back -back birdies, and what a time to make them. Ooh, that is some pretty good breathing room, out in front by a bunch. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Hey, guys, we are checking in with John Rahm as he gets set for his next shot here on the 17th. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Well, the leader is really starting to gap the field now. They're 10 strokes ahead. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. That was wonderfully done. Second shot here on the 16th. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. Well, there's a very good reason why he's leading this tournament, and that's Exhibit A. It's amazing to see how good this player is in full flow. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Oh, just missed.
And down it goes. Let's head to the next. And as we take a look at the standings, this player is currently in first, with Justin Rose second. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. I don't... That drive, he hit it so far, there's no divots in the fairway where he hit it. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. That's a golf shot. As opposed to a cricket shot? Or tennis. Badminton. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. Croquet. Croquet. Yeah, snooker. Line bowling. Whatever. I got you. Yeah. It's lots of shots. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at Birdie coming up. Good stuff on that putt. And after that effort, that's how it looks. Our current leader is enjoying a 10-shot lead. And this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. And a chance to ice the tournament here. Holding the lead, playing the last. Yeah, that one will play. Playing this shot from 120 yards. Going with the eight iron here. This one is chewing fiber. Well, you can see why he's leading. That was a shot of high caliber. Another green in regulation. This is an absolute clinic. Well, all that hard work, it's time to pay it off. Make this for the tournament. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Don't sweat that last opportunity. This is another one to knock it in and win the tournament. This is tracking right into... And that is a great performance. Winning the second event of the FedEx Cup playoffs, driving away with the BMW Championship. And this will set them up going into the Tour Championship in prime position to walk away with the entire FedEx Cup. What a tournament this was. Fantastic victory. Well, Rich, after that hot start, it's probably little surprise that this player powered through to victory. Luke, that was the performance of a lifetime. Hats off. They dominated in every facet of the game. Never let their foot up off the gas. Well, another great day of action here at 2K Sports. On behalf of Rich Beam, the entire hardworking folks and team here, I'm Luke Elvey. We look forward to your company next time.